couple of tips about Ravi that I'd like to share are, first of all, the positioning, the position of the patient. We typically like to keep the patient's left arm in 90 degrees open. Uh, in order to work, the physician will be working away from a radiation source. That decreases their radiation exposure. And we are actually measuring that variable in our current ongoing clinical trial now, March 2015. So position is important, 90 degrees. Um, second is uh, we, in order to prevent the spasm, we have two things that we always do. One is to use good quality sheath that is hydrophilic. There is a study showing that the most important predictive factor to prevent vasospasm is um, a hydrophilic sheath, sheath. The second thing I'd like to mention about prevention is to use a cocktail. We typically use systemic um, heparin between three to 4,000 units uh, bolus for a patient, and every 30 minutes we give one more thousand as needed. But usually the procedures last between 30 and 45 minutes, so we don't read, you know, we don't use another a second dose. So three to 4,000 units of heparin, and we use a vasodilator. We use nitroglycerin. Um, nitro is supposed to have some side effects in the heart and the blood pressure uh, that can drop. Um, but however, we, we have not seen that, and we've done hundreds of cases at this point. But basically, we use 200 microns of uh, nitroglycerin intraarterially injected through the sheath bef right after we obtain access, and then in the end, after we pull the catheter out, we inject again just in the way out, just before we pull the sheath. Um, another important thing uh, throughout the procedure is to obtain access um, under ultrasound guidance. I can't stress enough, and I understand more from the cardiology experience, they puncture directly without using ultrasound. I think in 2015, with the uh, access to image, I think it's, it's not ideal, it's in inadequate, let's say, to not use image guidance. And also, we like to use a single wall puncture to prevent bleeding in the posterior wall so ultrasound helps you to have a single wall puncture, to have a very refined technique and safe for the patients. And the last thing I'd like to share is, it is critical to have all the tools on the table, the patient's arm uh, with collimation right there to where your wire is gonna be pushed, uh, have all the tools available, have the pedal next to your foot because minimal change in your positioning you might lose access to the radio, which is a delicate, small vessel. And also keep in mind that we need to have at least two millimeters of diameter of the radio artery in order to accommodate a five, million, five, million, uh, five frame sheath. That's critical in order to prevent spasm and to prevent complications.